Spurs versus Leicester City. This is a EPL clash, you could say, but in the FA Cup. And Spurs and Leicester City, they mm. drew a lot of controversy coming on to the end of the game with Spurs getting a penalty late. Mm -hmm. And they drew 2-2. Two, two. Harry Kane on the score sheet scoring that penalty. So, more games for Spurs, more games for Leicester City. They have to go in 10 days to play the replay. So, tough luck. Two of my favorite teams of this season. Mm -hmm. They're my favorite teams in life. Yeah. But I like what Pochettino is doing. Mm -hmm. I like what Ranieri is doing. So I was excited about this match and it seemed reasonably fair. Yeah. That's some question, questionable penalty. Yeah. Uh, but, um, you know, we'll see how the replay turns out. Yeah, when Ra Ranieri was talking to the press after, they asked him about the penalty and they were like, you know, it shouldn't have been a penalty and what's your thoughts? And he was really cool. He was just like, you know, it's your referee's job, mm. whatever he says. That's the typical Ranieri. Yeah. So it's really nice to see a manager, you know, mm. not taking it to heart to that extent and just going on to the next match. So Leicester City versus Spurs in 10 days. So in the second to last match in the FA Cup, it was a, a lot of matches, but we're just going to highlight all the big teams. Manchester City, they were in action versus Norwich City, and they came away victors by three goals to nil. Aguero on the score sheet. So Manchester City move on to the fourth rung in the FA Cup. Yeah, I mean, Manchester City showing where all the teams are kind of struggling, with yep. maybe the exception of Arsenal. <laughs> you know, they show their, we are top premiership club. Yeah. And we should be blowing away teams. Yeah. And 3 0 should be like minimum requirements for a team like Man City. Yes. Who has been struggling a bit as well. Yeah. And the last thing we're going to highlight is Liverpool, Jurgen Klopp's team. They had the first game in the FA Cup versus Exeter City, a team that's playing in the lower tier of the English football. Should be an easy three points for Jurgen Klopp's team. He fielded a very young team, mm -hmm. extremely young team. I think the only two starters in that team was Benteke and one of the defenders, can't remember his name. Mm. So it's an extre extremely young team and they paid the price. Mm. That game ended 2 all. More games for Jürgen Klopp. He has to go on really, really good. He already has injuries. Not a good time for Jürgen in Liverpool. Yeah, Klopp has a rough time. Long gone are the days where you could feel the reserve team mm -hmm. when you are a big premiership yeah. club. And they're like, oh, I'm going to feel the reserves and we'll just deal with that team. Yeah. It doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. It started showing a couple of years ago. Teams are starting to prepare differently. Mm -hmm. They're starting to match the, the top clubs. Yeah. And, you know, Klopp paid the price. Klopp mm -hmm. is probably trying to expand his pool. Yeah. Well, Liverpool pool. But anyhow, <laughs> that's pure coincidence. Yeah. But basically, uh, I, they have real problems. Yeah. And we said that when Klopp first came across. <laughs> you know, they have the honeymoon phase. Hey, Klopp is a new coach and they won. Mm -hmm. And the result against Chelsea was maybe perfect. Yeah. But the reality is they had real problems. Mm -hmm. And they still do. I mean, yeah. injuries upon injuries. Daniel Surish can't play two games without just going back on the bench. Current injuries with Coutinho with his hamstring. Mm -hmm. Skirtle out. It's like, they have what's next for Liverpool? It's like everything is going wrong for Liverpool. The, the only good thing is, yeah. is that it's January. Yeah. So they could possibly bring in some de defenders to at least help them get through this time until the regular team is back up and running. They definitely need all the help they need. I know they also rumored they're going after Pato as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a good signing because yeah. they already have Coutinho, but it shows that Klopp has already identified that they need a lot of players. And then thinking about Pato, he as well, injury prone. Mm -hmm. You already have an injury prone striker in Daniel Sturridge. Don't bring a, a second one there. Mm -hmm. so. so that's it for your FA Cup wrap up. Um, EPL, yes, EPL is back tomorrow on Wednesday and Liverpool. Hmm. I, feel, I really forgot about this. Things are just going from bad to worse for mm. Liverpool. Yeah. The next game in the English Premier League is up against Arsenal, which they play on Wednesday. And then on Sunday, they are playing Manchester United. Yeah, this is, that's a daunting task for a team that has a lot of problems. Yep. But, you know, uh, hopefully the board gives them the chance he needs. This mm -hmm. is a, a proper time to assess what the club needs. Yeah. So when you play against the top teams, yeah. you realise, OK, this is where we need to be. And hopefully they'll give him what he needs. Yeah. So let's see what we'll plan on for Liverpool within the next week. So that has been your FA Cup wrap-up.